bit of rain for the time being, conditions look good. Okay, dry seem like the best tyre for now. Confirmed, we'll receive you at the end of this lap. Let me know you're okay. One World Championship. It's a race that the great Ayrton Senna won six times and in 2019 Charles Leclerc became the first driver to take their maiden win here since Michael Schumacher back in 1992. Spa-Francorchamps then, a historic 19-corner circuit with a lap distance of 4.35 miles. There's over 100 metres of elevation change here and with long stretches of the lap spent flat out, a good top speed will be vital for success. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position and Robert Schwartzman completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Oscar Piastri, Leclerc, Valtteri Bottas and Verstappen, Tictum, Perez, Gasly and Esteban Ocon, Mick Schumacher, Albon, Sebastian Vettel and Sainz. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Sonoda, Stroll, Guan Yu Zhou and Nicholas Latifi. Russell, they've taken a grid penalty and more. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. After the points finished last race, let's aim to keep that momentum going. Clutch bright is good, gearbox is responding normally. Make sure to warm up the tyres and brakes. Warm the tyres and brakes throughout the lap, please.
now for the rest of the race. Right, drop your speed, our delta is too low and we're going to risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Overtake button more, it's time to utilize some of this energy. Come on.
Many doubted whether they could pull off the win here at Spa Francorchamps, but they've done so in spectacular style. And talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations and it's going to be McLaren picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for that fantastic performance. as your driver of the day. I have to give it to Moore. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximized their potential. Let's move on to the constructors. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport action, but with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. Our new parts have completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. <laughs> 